Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Whatnots Review Show number 160. My name is Kyle Springer, and I am joined by Melissa Wilkinson. Hello. And Alan Busby is joining us once again on this episode. You talking to me? Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. You got a problem? <laughs> can't you see I'm working? I can't do it, though. I'm working here. Welcome back. Welcome back, indeed. If you guys did not know, the Whatnots Review Show is our weekly book club style podcast where each week we have a different story to talk about, covering all sorts of different genres and mediums. Uh, and there is bound to be something for everyone. Uh, this week, however, we are talking about The Way of the House Husband, the oh. Netflix anime. Uh, it's a really short one. It's only five, five episodes long, and they're really short. Uh, but yeah, this was something that Alan suggested. And and I'm telling you, even though these episodes are short, because they're so fun to watch, it feels like they fly by even faster. Yeah. They, they really do. They really do. So my first question is, how yeah. are you? How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> pretty good. I mean, it's yes. It's, I was it's, Alan today. It's Sunday. It's it's it Sunday, Sunday. You know, it's Sunday. You know, Monday's tomorrow. You know, the Monday blues, but it's not Monday yet. It's it's Sunday. Do you have some ex exciting plans for the rest of the, the rest of the day? I mean, I was probably gonna go to a Digimon card game tournament, but oh, huh. we'll see. We'll see. interesting. There you go. That sounds fun. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever bought Digimon cards. I, I have Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And I have yeah, some I, Japanese Pokemon cards and Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But I, I truly think from, from growing up, Digimon. I've collected so many card games. When I was really young, I had like a couple of the OG Digimon cards that I was way too young to understand mm. literally anything going on. <laughs> then then I collected Yu-Gi-Oh for a while with my dad when I was younger. Then I cuz I was still young so I didn't understand the value of cards yet so I was just like, "Ooh, cool, pretty art." So like I just look yeah. I like to look at them and that was Ooh, it. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> and then I lost my Yu-Gi-Oh cards so then I fell off of that. Then get this for a while, me and my cousin collected the Naruto cards. Oh, okay. I didn't even know then, they had Naruto cards. They, they, they <laughs> did. Then I very loosely collected Pokemon for like a minute. And by that, I mean like I built one deck to play with a friend. And now I collect Digimon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I cool. when will I collect Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z's got to be next. One day, one day. <laughs> Melissa, one day. how are you? Yeah. How's your weekend been? I'm, I'm doing okay. Went to a little produce store yesterday bought uh exotic fruits and nice. also just a lot of caramel corn uh i'm mostly gonna eat the Ooh. caramel corn sounds but, good to me but, yeah but it's, it's caramel it's caramel <laughs> i i uh, usually do yesterday. say caramel but i don't know when it comes to the popcorn i don't like it's caramel for me in that context i think it's the word caramel yeah, like when you like pronounce I it like that it sounds crunchier than when you say caramel I, yeah, I see. I always call it caramel, but I'm actually not a fan of caramel. But I, I've always called it caramel. Like it's always caramel apples, caramel popcorn. I mean, it's more syllable, yeah, so you know, I technically, I technically shouldn't say it because it's not actually efficient to say. Well, I, th I think that is <laughs> like when you look at the word and how it's spelled. I think it should be caramel. Like you said, that's what I say most of the time. But I don't know. Yeah, caramel just sounds oh, well. like a word you can crunch down on, <laughs> like like the popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, Caramel I, crunch. I, I get it. I see it. I respect there it. There you go. Yesterday, I ventured out into the world for the first time on mm. my own, doing things because I'm fully vaccinated. Uh, this was the first week that I could have gone out and ah. done all of that stuff. And yesterday, I went out to my local comic book store, bought my comics, hey. Yay. Uh, did all that stuff, started walking around campus, all of that stuff. Uh, stopped by the gr grocery store, pick up a snack, walked back. It was good. It was good. But I am sore 
today. I, that was a lot of walking and I had a bunch of stuff in my backpack from all the stuff I bought at the c c comic book store. So I had a whole bunch of extra, extra weight. So it was just like my, my like legs hurt, hurt right, 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 right now. So <laughs> that's, that's me. That's, that's what I've been up to. That's so strange to me. Like, I, I guess because I've had my, like last year when the pandemic hit, my work shut down for like, uh, four, three to three and a half, four weeks. But then we, they opened back up. So we had to keep going to work. So like, yeah. I never had this like long period of like not going anywhere because I still had to go to work. So like I still like went places like last year and this year. So like the only thing that was weird yesterday is like because of the fully vaccination thing going downtown. Oh, my God. There were people everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so wow. There were so many people. There was. Yeah. In, in the comic book store, I got there and there was like. I don't know, six people in there. And it's a small sh shop. So like six p people is like, wow, it's packed in here. <laughs> uh, see, my, my, see, my shop was still packed. They had to have the line because they still have like a max capacity. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you the go. This is like nine people. There you go. Uh, Way of the house husband. Let's yeah. start talking about that. A Alan, how did you find out and hear about this? That's what I want to know first. See, it's a it's actually a, a very underwhelming story because Amy, I don't really watch any TV, so I never I never find anything. As uh, as I'll mention, like I got to Invincible super late, finished it way after the initial hype of it came and went. But since Amy scrolls through our Hulu or our Netflix, mm -hmm. she'll scroll she'll scroll through it all the time to look for shows to watch and all kinds of things. And you know how Netflix has like this thing of like. It'll show you trailers of stuff that isn't out yet that you can, like, add it to your list to remind you when it releases. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, she saw the Way of the House Husband on there. We watched the kind of trailer that they give you for it. And I think it was, like, three, four weeks before it came out. And we were like, oh, my God, this looks hilarious. And this looks so funny. Yeah. yeah. Add this to the list. Let's remind us. We're going to watch this when it comes out. And that's, that's literally how we found it was Amy was just scrolling through and she was just watching trailers of stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I I saw it on Netflix when it came out. Uh, I, I I saw that one scene where they have the like g g glasses with the fake yeah. nose at the birthday <laughs> party, and I'm like, what in the world is this? This looks so weird. It looks so funny. So here uh, we are talking about this. Melissa, have you heard of this? Did did you see yeah. this when it came out on Netflix and stuff like that? Uh no, I don't. I was told about it. This is a, it was a manga to begin with. And my brother Jams mm -hmm. has been really into it. And he watched the anime and he watched uh, the live action adaptation. Yeah. I don't know wh where that is, how that goes. <laughs> it's not so, yeah, Netflix, This was a title I was already familiar with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was happy that Alan pitched it to us. It was a very fun watch. Yeah, oh, Good it's, stuff. And it's, it's so fun to watch. As we, we mentioned before, like, like Ignacio from from our group, he would. This would be a show. He would. I feel like he would love this. Yeah, mm. we we mentioned that to him on yeah. crossplay. Man. Uh, yeah, this this was a this was an interesting show. I really enjoyed the this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and do our spoiler free thoughts and stuff, and then we will get into spoilers in just a bit. Uh, yeah, I I I enjoyed this one a lot. I I thought this was hilarious. Um, it really did remind me of the Yakuza g games. Yeah. Um, it, it, the, the main character in this show, I don't remember uh, his ta name. Ta ta Tatsu. Ta 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 Tatsu. Yeah. He definitely reminded me a lot of Kiryu. Um, and yeah, just the, the, the way that they kind of juxtapose this like boring mundane like house life where he's like cooking or shopping or decorating for a birthday or, or stuff like that mixed with the uh like rival yakuza members that like <laughs> don't know that he's retired and is d d doing the, this thing he it's just it's really funny the like situations that they find themselves in <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed this a lot. I was not expecting it to be like shorter skits. I, I, yeah. I thought it was yeah. going to be like more full length stuff, but 
yeah. as well as it's it's five episodes on Netflix, but it covers like in the show itself, it's like thirty, like 30 episodes. Yeah, like four, like thirty skits worth of like scenario. Yeah, I I so uh, Wikipedia says this was like in a in original net animation. So I'm wondering if it released yeah. in Japan uh, as those shorter skits first, and then oh, and then they kind of like compiled it together. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But um, yeah, it's it it it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Indeed. Mm. That makes sense that it was a, a net anime because it does look almost like a, a motion comic at some points. So like mm-hmm. it's got yeah. very limited animation a lot of the time. Yeah. yeah. Well, so so I know I know when it came out. Right. So when when this came out, like I watched Amy and I watched almost all of it. We watched five of or four of the seven episodes or whatever it is. We only have like three left. And then we stopped watching for a bit because I wanted to like I wanted to do it for this and I was going to like wait or, in the, or go back and rewatch it. But then like I saw some people complain that the animation style they didn't like and they didn't think it was very good. Mm-hmm. Amy and I both agreed last night we finished it that we like the anime like it takes a minute to get used to the animation style that it's not full motion. But I'm glad it's not because it I feel like it wouldn't be as funny if it was full motion. <laughs> I, I, I could see I, I that. I can see that. Yeah, I, like, we'll, we'll I feel like get I feel like the way it is more when we're in spoilers yeah. and, and 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 stuff there. But yeah, I, I can see that for sure. Yeah, it's sure. man. And and the show being so full of like misunderstandings just adds to the humor all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. Melissa, did what did you think? Do you guys watch it in English? No, no. That- yeah. yeah. I did watch it in English. Yeah, that's how the first episode started. And I really liked the main actor's voice. I thought it was funny. I, I didn't want to change it. I I watched it in Japanese. I, I watched it subbed. So. Of course he did. <laughs> of course I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, the, then, it, yeah. it was... It was really funny because, uh, yeah, he's speaking in Japanese the whole t- time, and he has this really deep voice. It's really mm-hmm. in- intimidating. And then there's those two scenes where he's singing "Happy Birthday." <laughs> it's the yeah. funniest <laughs> thing in the world because he's he sings it in in English, and and it's just this "Happy Birthday" yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, really the, funny. The English voice actor does does a great job too, as Melissa said. Like he just he does that he does have that kind of like lower, like more hyper serious voice. Yeah, yeah. Which mm-hmm. I which just it sure. works in English so well. But yeah, sorry, sorry, Melissa, go ahead. Uh no, no, I I, I thought the job voice was very funny. Yeah, it, this was great, especially after you know, the last thing we watched on the review show was Dark, which contains uh, in 10 episodes, I think, two jokes uh, all together. Yeah, so to watch something that's no like, funny. it's nothing but jokes. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> this was a great break. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was sweet. I thought it was a uh, they really did a lot with the premise they set out that this uh, ex Yakuza mm-hmm. hit man who's nicknamed the Immortal Dragon. because It seems like nobody can kill him. He survives like any scuffle he gets into. He decides to just settle yeah. down and be a house husband. And now his life is entirely like cooking and cleaning and shopping and doing yeah. neighborhood community activities. <laughs> oh, and what, a, what a great, so com- what a great community. What a great. Yeah. Community. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, lo- I loved all so, his housewife friends. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, all yeah. right. Right. Yeah. It, uh, uh, cool. So I, we've, I, I, I think you can kind of glean a basic synopsis from all of this. Yeah, the ex-Yakuza guy retires to be a house husband, a stay-at-home husband. Uh, and now his life is these, like, domestic tasks. Um, and, yeah, there's people who don't know that he is retired yet, so his life still clashes with the Yakuza yeah. every now and then. But that's kind of it. It's these, like two minute long skits uh but there's like six or seven skits in like one one thing um yeah it's really really funny i highly recommend going to check it out you can watch it in like an hour and 15 minutes 
yeah, it won't it, take it you is, long. So. It won't take you long to watch it. Yeah, um, but that's basically it. It's out on Netflix here in the United States. So uh, go go check it out. Go check it out, indeed. With that, Man. though. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say he doesn't even really like scuff with Yakuza people. It's more like it's it's not those like Yakuza encounters you would think when it's like, oh, like they find yeah. the Emerald Dragon. But like, it's not really like as bad as you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. For sure. Uh, with that, though, we will t- 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 take a short break for housekeeping and then we will be right back. We put a lot of hard work into the shows that we make. And yes, we make multiple different shows here at The Whatnots, and we'd love it if you would check them all out. You can find out more information on our website at thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. When you type in The Whatnots, all of our shows will pop up right there. Just don't forget to give us a nice rating and review if you like the shows. If you want to support what we do here at The Whatnots, patreon.com slash The Whatnots is the best place to do that. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You can get all kinds of exclusive content at our $3 tier, and you can get a shout out and thank you on all of our shows at the $5 tier. You can support us on Twitch by subscribing to our channel at twitch.tv slash the whatnots. And we would love to have you all join us for our live streams and talk with us in the chat. And lastly, we have merch. If you want to grab yourself a shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or something else, head over to the whatnots.com slash store to pick up some merch today. And we are back. Uh, A big shout out to our Patreon supporters at our $5 tier and above. So thank you, Sam, so much for supporting us. Uh, It means a lot. We love you and appreciate you. So thank you. Thanks, Sam. I I can't. I can't do it. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) That's That's a hard. I try to do the hand motion for the heart as, you know, the, the cool, the younger kids do or something. Maybe they do. I don't know if they do it anymore. Hello, fellow kids. Uh, let's see. With, with cool things we've done this week. Melissa, you joined us on Crossplay I, uh, this week yes. for our E3 predictions. E3 and Summer Games <laughs> Fest. I don't know about you, but we had a blast. Uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, you should ch- check it out. Uh, it was a blast. Melissa, you are not super familiar with the video game world, so we used you as a human Barely. magic eight ball. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was good. You guys should go check that out because E3 is basically happening right now. Uh, by mm. time you guys listen to, to this, it will already be uh, just around the corner. So and make sure make you sure go. you guess Melissa's uh, ratio of how correct she is. Like get guess the ratio, hundred percent could be. Who knows? We'll yeah, see. Do you, maybe they will add Link's horse as a playable character in Smash, and you can just be a maybe, horse. <laughs> maybe that one game will come out. Smash. Maybe that one game's gonna come out in twenty twenty two. Who knows? Who knows? Indeed. I don't know how times are. Out. We're about to get into spoilers. We had a little technical scuffle with our music here. I don't know if we're going to be able Mm. to hear it on our end, but you guys should be able to hear it on your end. So here we go. Let's get into spoilers. And now we're in spoilers. We didn't didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. (laughs) It played, but I mean, unless unless the sound was supposed to be silent, then yes, I heard it. No, they're supposed to be in alert. That's so like, the dogs are we're aware. We're going to talk about yeah, spoilers yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, the dog. The the it's a free. Kyle played it, but it's at a frequency that we cannot hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only house husbands can hear it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> or ex yakuza can hear it. So I guess none of us fit uh, those categories. True. Yeah. Well. No. <laughs> you guys don't know much about me, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Did you, you could have a full all of back this tattoo stuff, huh? of a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Or a full back tattoo of a Spider Man. <laughs> That's right, true. Exactly. That's true. I mean, I don't have the Yakuza tattoos, but you know, I you know, may, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Where do we want to start with this? 
Do, Man, do we want to start with the, the, the art since that was one of the things that we yeah, mentioned? I, yeah, I'd say yeah. so with the style, I guess. Okay, so yeah. F- f- go, go ahead, Melissa. No, like I, I compared it to a motion comic and it is broken down into a lot of panels a lot of the time. Like it'll flash one image on the screen and then flash another image on the screen. Like it's broken up like that. There's a lot of sound effects on there, even like very <laughs> vague things. Like he's talking to that um, ex leader in that grocery store, and all of yeah. her goons uh, come up behind her. And there's like a sound effect on the screen, but it says "gather." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or it'll Which have like very limited take. motion where you see them walking, but they're not actually walking. It's just the the stories right, of yeah. them just shuffling you just yeah you slide them across the screen half the time when somebody's talking their mouth barely opens yeah yeah (laughs) it's uh, it's in it's an interesting art style for sure uh i it's it's one of those things i'm not a huge fan of it but i don't dislike it either like i I think what you mentioned I think what you mentioned I think what you mentioned Alan um like really made sense that like it yeah. it 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 works for what they're trying to do and I think at the end of the day it makes it funnier because yeah. it's it's, mm-hmm. it's 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 that um so yeah, I, I ended up enjoying it, and I think it is an interesting take on comics of, like, how, how do you yeah. translate a comic into an animated thing? Um, yeah. Because, I, like, I've, I've seen TV shows and stuff that are based off of c- comics that try to do the, like, scene transitions where they will, like, okay, that was one panel, and we're zooming out and going into another panel, and that's the next scene. Yeah. And that's, like, eh, it's kind of kind of cheesy. Yeah. Well, um, or stuff like that. But I, I kind of like this because it felt like it was a comic. It felt like these were stills <laughs> that they were, like, okay, if this still could move – what would it kind of look like? So yeah, it it just it just feels like they just literally ripped panels out of like the cut like a colored manga comic and put it on there and just added very simple motion to it. Yeah, yeah. I I I feel if they weren't doing such a slice of life silly story, then it would not have worked. Like if they were doing anything else, I feel like it would not have yeah. worked. Another big example is like another another Netflix anime, B Stars. Uh, for Melissa, for you and I, I, you haven't seen that one, but the main character, Beastars, is also Tatsu from House Husband, which is pretty cool. But Beastars mm. is a great show, but, like, its big problem is it's fully motion, but it's all, like, what is it? It's all that 3D animation, which you can get used to it, but it definitely is fairly off-putting. So I so I, I do kind of like that you, we get these anime shows that try different styles, like the 3D animation, this kind of, like, still still with some like motion in uh, house mm-hmm. husband and i like it and i think house husband definitely works like even because it like when you first see it it's kind of like oh because when we saw the trailer for it on netflix we were like oh it's showing you it this way because it's just kind of splicing like popular clips together i didn't think that was the animation of the show itself but i watched it watched it and it was like oh no this is the style of the animation but yeah. in but it never I was never like, oh, I don't like this. It was like, oh, it is like this. OK, cool. Yeah, I'm 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 all in. Mm-hmm. It kind of yeah. reminded me of uh, like an old adult swim cartoon, like one of those 15 minute things. It's like done in flash. Like he'll just like glide across the screen. And it reminds me of like Master Shake or something like oh, that. Yeah. Or, or like Homestar <laughs> Runner or something. <laughs> it, it reminds me of what's the other uh, adult swim show? The the let the. Eric the Eric and the town mayor or something oh yeah oh yeah Tom goes to the mayor yeah Tom goes to the mayor it reminds me of that because like the characters are just these kind of like silhouette drawings that just have very limited movement Mm. like kind kind of it reminded me of that too I think what it does is it adds to the like 
to the ju- 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 to the jarama like it's yeah. it's very over the top <laughs> yeah. where it's just like everything is ridiculous that is happening and it just makes it so much more dramatic ju- 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 that it's just like yeah. th- it it heightens it and it's just like this is like i might not be a fan of it initially but i think that this this was the right what? choice and I and I think it worked like the the big example I can see where it works is the, is Kyle you mentioned you like that scene where they had where the scene that you saw the trailer with the the uh, glasses <laughs> and the nose. I think it yeah. works so well there because you have the perspective of the cops who are watching Tatsu do these shady mm-hmm. things, but because they're still images, <laughs> you're just seeing the still shot of Tatsu doing these suspicious things. And I think that's where it works because if it's full motion, you're seeing everything pan. I feel like that wouldn't work, but then having them be suspicious of him seeing Tatsu do certain things and then having that moment where it's that image of just the cop hitting the door open and your next yeah. still shot is just all of them at the table like, what are you doing? Cool. Oh, it's Madam <laughs> Chair Lady's birthday. <laughs> and it just, yeah. it worked. It's so great. I mean, this home Something else oregano. about the visual style. <laughs> I, I love that it's, yeah, it's these cops trailing him thinking he's dealing drugs when it is, he grew basil in his yeah. garden. <laughs> And he's giving yeah. it to his friend. Yeah, he gave like, that no, one guy that. That he is gave, the plant that it is. He gave the friend the, the the drugs like this is basil. You can put this in food and pizza and well, the goods got to be in the briefcase. That's where it is. Right. <laughs> this is a cover. There's more drugs underneath that. No. Uh, like they, they do lay out like all the things you could use basil for. Like basil is new. And yeah. You heard of it. <laughs> Part of the visual style that I really liked is the way that. Tatsu and other Yakuza guys, their heads just like loll around on their necks. It's not like they've got this sort yeah. of cocky head tilt to the side. It's like, I so, yeah. <laughs> like they just all the way around, all the way around. They're like, they're like ghouls. Like they don't like they don't have bones. Well, then, so then it, it works for Tatsu well because when he does have his head to the side, where he has his head yeah. to the side and back, the camera also shows you like a downward perspective of him too. So it really adds to the the well, look that he has of like making him look like he's menacing. Yeah. So yeah. when when yeah. in in photography, when when you photograph someone from a lower a- 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 angle, it makes them look taller and more powerful. Mm. So yeah. it's that mixed yes. with the like head back, like looking down his nose, like he's navel g- g- gazing, <laughs> and it's just this like uh, yeah, I'm powerful and intimidating, and <laughs> I'm looking down at you, you know. Uh, oh, so they just all did it perfectly. so much to like such such an extreme uh, angle it was really like i get it like it is menacing sometimes but it happens so much that it's silly and i think yeah. maybe that was the point of yeah it. i don't think yeah, i don't it's, I, it's a trope yeah, i don't think you're meant to take it you're not meant to take tatsu seriously as you get farther in where you're like oh he's menacing but then they do it so much that you're just kind of like oh it's funny how is tatsu gonna subvert our expectations of what he's gonna do yeah and i like yeah. i like Tatsu was i i do like how sometimes you can see his eyes through the glasses and sometimes it won't let you see his eyes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tatsu's uh, delightful in that he comes in one emotional setting yeah. like he <laughs> like he had to harden himself down into this like gravelly intense cool crime man and like in every other scenario, like that's how he is with his wife. That's how he is with these housewives. When one of them drops off her, her little boy at the house for him to watch for an hour. That's how he is with the kid. That's how he is with other uh, criminals. No, he comes in yeah. one flavor. It's it's really funny. Like what a, one of the bits that really won me over to the show is somewhere in like the first episode where he goes to the market. And I think it's like his. His old friend, that blonde yeah. guy who's like following him, that like, recognizes Mortal him. Dragon. He's out, yeah, and he's at the market and he's shopping. And he's just like, these cabbages are eighty cents each. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Um, I, I speaking of uh, yeah. I, one one quick yeah. thing, Melissa. There was what I believe to be a blatant reference to something we've watched on this show. It's the only one that I really really caught, or the one that like reminded me of like, oh my god, it's this thing. So I'm I'm wondering if there are more references to things that we just didn't catch or didn't understand. Mm-hmm. But in the first 
in 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 the first one in one of those skits there is a, a a skit where he and like the there's a guy selling knives and he like yeah. hates his j- j- yes. job and stuff, and he knocks on the d- 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 door to sell these knives. Uh, but then like the tables are turned, where like this guy, like, where Tatsu knows a lot about knives because he's been in the yeah. yakuza and all of that that, 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 that that stuff. And this guy thinks he's gonna get killed or something by this this ex yakuza guy, but instead he. Cook some meal. He's like, I want to like <laughs> yeah. test these yes. knives yeah, out. Yeah, I want to test the knives. Um, but when he sits down to give him this meal, it's this really light, quaint guitar, like a acoustic guitar, and then he starts to be like. Mm, this food really starts to remind me of like when my mom used to make this stuff, and it like it lasts for yeah. like thirty seconds. But I was like. It's midnight the diner. This is exactly what this is. Yeah, it did, I, I, it's like, very ratatouille, is what it is. Like that's what I predominantly sure, thought of. But yeah, same yeah, thing. There's some midnight diner in there. Yeah, like uh, that's like that's what I was wondering. Of like, is there other references to other shows in here that like we just don't know or didn't catch or or stuff like that. Because uh, that, that one, I, yeah. I, I was oh, like, oh, th- this is great. I love this. <laughs> yeah. This could have been filled with, like, spot-on recreations of frames from famous Yakuza movies they have that we just yeah. don't know. Yeah, that yeah. you're like, ah. See, um, the I, the one quick note I'll add about the animation style, because the animation style is so, is are those stills, for me, is so great because, because there's not a lot of motion on the screen when you're watching it. The show is completely like hard carried by just the good writing. Yeah, like the writing just carries mm-hmm. it. Because some of my favorite parts is I love the misunderstandings people constantly have with Tatsu whenever yes. he does things, or just when he applies the yakuza lifestyle to like doing things. Because I remember an earlier episode when he when they get the Roomba, and it's like when he gives him the mission when he gives him the mission. Of like you need to do this. And I don't remember exactly what happens, but the Roomba messes up, and like Gets stuck in the corner. <laughs> uh, what's the what's the wife's name? Um, uh, Miku. When she gets Miku, home yeah. and Tatsu's mm-hmm. like kind of bleeding a little bit and everything's a mess, and he's like, "What happened? Like what happened here?" And he's like, "The bastard beat me. Like I was defeat. Like and the fact that like he's acting like it was a battle in a war and he lost and like <laughs> what is it the Roomba I don't remember what is it the Roomba like drives over like the blood or something and it smears it and the Roomba like leaves the room like it finished the job and right. it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it like uh, runs over the cat's tail which scares it and yeah. then starts knocking things down and things just yeah things mm. just go crazy yeah, the, the other two I really like is uh, uh later on with uh, Tatsu's like old Yakuza friend Melissa you mentioned the blonde guy where Tatsu goes Masa? to his apartment um, it, yeah, I think it's Masa so, where Tatsu goes to Masa's apartment and it's a mess and he finds yes. his shirts. He finds his shirts that are dirty. And it's the fact of like, oh, we'll make this solution. Like, like we're, we're going to, we're going to kill, we're going to kill this. And then it's the whole right, thing. Right. He like, goes Tatsu, full bad tooth- for a second. He does the toothbrush to like hit all, all his all clothes. The- <laughs> yeah. And I love hearing Masa go, that's boss. Like, so, so determined. Like that's, that's the boss I know. And he's just cleaning shirts. <laughs> yeah, and like, he brings up all these shirts with stains, and he's so intense. Like, this has to be done immediately. He's like, I'm going to take these all on myself. Uh, Stay out of here. And then, like, then my, this my, one has mud. This one has spaghetti sauce. This one has this thing. <laughs> this one has that. <laughs> Just, the, the last, my, my last one, my favorite one is when I believe, I don't remember if they mentioned it. It's where Tatsu meets Miku's parents. So, it's, yes. so, the, da- so the dad tries to converse with Tatsu, and he says, like, like, oh, have you ever done like karaoke before? And it's it's the thing of like, you know, I've I've never sung in my life. But then the camera shifts where it shows yeah. where it has the subtitles of sung equals confessing yakuza like Yes. World. And he's like, Yeah, I've never sung a day in my life. I ain't no snitch. I loved all those <laughs> double entendres. Those yeah, were great, especially like how everything gets uh, misinterpreted. How like he reads something as threatening or when he says something innocuous, somebody else reads it as threatening, like how deep it can go. Like when yeah. he's uh, uh. working at his friend's like coffee shop for the day 
because they're short staffed and he like serves these guys beans and in their head they're like beans that th- that's slang for bullets yeah and, no it's just beans <laughs> it's just or, like beans. when he's trying to like barter with the guy at the flea market and he offers <laughs> him like would you like a blender and the guy's like he's gonna grind me up and it's like do you want uh, this, <laughs> no, <bad> toy, <laughs> this rubber ducky he's he's uh, gonna give me cement shoes he's gonna sink me to the bottom of the ocean and the duck will float but i won't my, my favorite part <laughs> is that exact a metaphor. Episode. It's that exact one where that guy, tra- you do the training montage where he trains his legs to be able to withstand the, the yes! fear of Tatsu. And then at the end, it's like, hey, boss, is that, that's the more dragon, that's Tatsu. And then it immediately cuts to him, his legs <laughs> giving out over. again. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Uh, I love that, you know, we see the guy so frightened, his legs are shaking. And like, he's aware of this to where he's like, you know why I need to solve this problem and not be so scared by the immortal dragon? I'll just develop very strong knees. <laughs> like He's like, physically, if I do this, it'll affect my mental state. And it does uh, not. He just crumbles regardless of how many squats yeah, I, he did. I just love how the I love how the community loves Tatsu. Like the community that he's yeah. in, they, they love him. So I love how Tatsu seems so ridiculous, but the community loves him and they don't take him mm-hmm. seriously. But then when you see Tatsu interact with the Yakuza people, and they, they, he, he doesn't find them. They find him. I like how yeah. they're always so intimidated by him. And he's just like, yeah, I'm going to the grocery store. Yeah, we're going to go get a sale. Like, I love how they take him too seriously. And the community just acts like, oh, that's just Tatsu. He's just, he's yeah. just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good old like, Tatsu. I, uh, mm. A part of me wonders how Miku somehow won him over. Like, I like how the show doesn't tell you how Miku got him, but I kind of wish so, it showed you. That brings up one of the next yeah. things that I wanted to talk about. I like that this is in smaller skits, and I like that mm. this is sh- shorter stuff. I don't necessarily want a plot. Like, yeah. I, I don't want this, yeah. like, through line stuff, but I want a little bit more. Like, I, I want just a little bit more information on, yeah, like, who are their neighbors exactly? How do they really feel about him? Like, who is his wife? Why did they get married? How did they meet? Like, I, I want more of mm-hmm. that stuff. But again, I don't want, like, an actual plot yeah. of, like, Yeah, here's like, I just want the, context. The story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want, like, back, like, Back fill me with information. I want like information from the past, but no plot for the future. Just like, tell me yeah, what I would has want... happened, I, and I don't care what is going to happen. I think I would want a skit of Miku g- going to her work and one of her co- co- co-workers being like, like obsessed of of like so. You're m- 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 married to whatever his nickname, like the, the immortal tiger or whoever his n- name was. And just like asking her like all of these co- 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 questions and it b- 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 being a similar th- th- thing to like, so do you like karaoke? And like he's been like, ah, I, 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 I've never snitched a day in my life. And they're, they're being like, so has he? killed anything or, or, or something and, and and it is this like misinterpretation of like well he like he knows how to get the, the, the these these stains out like he can he can right. do all he, that he stuff, kills right? so many bugs around the apartment yeah he's he's k- killed kill the all these mice though. and yeah God. yeah it's like all all of the, 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 the like i want something like that where it's not actually him in one of them yeah that might be an interesting yeah. thing to, to see, uh, you, you I, want, I want, you want more, more of the cops. You want more stuff like that cop episode. You want more yeah. stuff like that where you see it yeah. from someone else's perspective about him. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I liked uh, whenever Miku would show up because she's used fairly sparingly. Like she, yeah. she's not in it as much as you would have thought she would be. But I, I like how she is in it. I think it is established that they met while he was still in the Yakuza, yeah. like while he was mm-hmm. still living it up as the immortal dragon. And then he settled down for dragon, her. That was it. But we don't know tiger. anything else. We know that <laughs> she, she, she did bring him to her parents. That's not the first time her parents are meeting him. That yeah, time they the dropped dad, by the for dad dinner. mentions when she first brought him home. Yeah. I do love that the dad like really wants to impress him. 
Like he's not not because he's intimidated because it's like oh it's this Yakuza criminal he's because sitting there I guess because he thinks he's like cool. how do I how well, do I ask him to play ball with me and he's sitting yeah. there like right like the dad I, wants do you want to, to engage with, with him and wants to do <laughs> these cliche yeah. catches but he's like I have to do it perfectly like he has to take me seriously when I have to go to play catch I like I like but how the, fast it pro- I like how fast it progresses where he's like yeah I've always wanted a son to play catch and then Tatsu goes dad are you like calls starts calling him dad. <laughs> it, it's that but then when when they, when they first start doing it uh, Tatsu is just a d- dog that's all he is he's a loyal yeah, dog yeah. and he's playing fetch and the d- dad is like too no. scared as well as being like oh this is so sweet to like let him know like this isn't actually how you play catch <laughs> yeah like, hmm. <laughs> but then you get that great that great crescendo where it's like yeah whenever you play catch that's when you can really just let out your emotions and talk about whatever so he throws the ball and Tatsu catches it and Tatsu's like talk about anything and then Tatsu throws it and then it switches where it's like this super extreme hardcore throw and the dad yeah. catches it like it knocks him back hits hits the tree bleeds and you hear Tatsu, Dad, are you all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so oh, good. <laughs> I just do it. It's, oh, man. Yeah, mm. Mi- I do agree I, with Melissa. Miku was not used as much, but when she is used, it's so great. Because yeah. you, you assume Miku knows he's the Yakuza. Like, she, she's the only person who's not in the Yakuza that has the best idea of how serious Tatsu is. Yeah. Because there's the episode earlier where she's like, you dress too intimidating. You need to dress more friendly and inviting to people and yeah. then but like that i like how it doesn't work and i a- amy and i love the fact that every shot everywhere he goes everywhere tatsu always wears the apron and yeah. I, I like how <laughs> all of the, the yakuza bosses yeah all, 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 all of the yakuza b- 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 bosses have some shirt with like a cute animal on it it's yeah. like puggy right. or some like crocodile I, thing on it uh <laughs> I love when he meets up with his old boss who's like, it seems like he did a time in jail, got out of jail and is yeah. like living a quieter life. He's an older man and he's got this dog, dog. that he loves and brings everywhere. And yeah. <laughs> Tatsu like knit a sweater for the dog. the dog. He's like, it's got ribbing on the edges for style. <laughs> and he just does a photo shoot in the park with this mob boss and his dog in a sweater. <laughs> I, I like how it ends with, you're not gonna tell him that he was he want he was gonna be recruited by someone else, and he goes no, and then it's Tatsu playing with the dogs. And it's this is where he belongs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's I good do stuff. like earlier when he meets the uh, I don't forget his I don't know his name or his code name. The other like rival like big yakuza guy that went toe to toe. Yeah, like the and, iron-fisted tiger. Or yeah, something and I like that. I like yeah. how there's like there's only one way so to settle this. And they both make they both make food <laughs> and they put it they do the photo shoot on Instagram and it's like who wins and Tatsu gets the one like <laughs> over right, like that's the metric. It's not just we're going to make food or like have masa or have like some passerby test like eat the food. It's yeah. like we have to this is aesthetically the, that's the purpose of it. Yeah. Like not just That's, what the food is and how it tastes, but how it looks. So we to this be is honest, an Instagram though, challenge. That's a really interesting aspect because, like, I, I. I mean, I know nothing about the Yakuza, despite what I said hmm. about how I stole all of that stuff behind yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, I, I, uh, it's just it's interesting to think about the Yakuza interacting with social media. Like, how yeah. does that like <laughs> is 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 there some like jealousy or rivalry on which gang member gets the most likes and interaction? Like, is that, that a thing? Uh, like, I don't know. I, I don't like that. That's really funny to think about. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's so. like I, I they, they have to use it somehow, some way. Yeah, to I, like I, promote or I, interact I, or something. I don't know. I, I don't know why it's because it just reminds me of the foodies. I just love when you get these rare occurrences of Tatsu doing something and he takes like all the really dramatic photos of stuff because <laughs> yeah. he's because he's super he's super proud of it. And he's like, I got to take photos of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's good. Man, yeah. The, the show is such a such a ride. Yeah. It's, Although I, it's the, funny. It's the, sweet. The only the only really quick. The only skits I still enjoy, but I didn't actually love a ton were the cat ones. Those were fine. Oh, but I, no. I definitely, Alan, those I are the def- best ones. 
I, like, I, I, liked, liked I liked the them, cat but ones. I feel like they like when I went to go finish the show yesterday and we got no more of them. I, I didn't care. Like they're still great, but well, I, I can see that. <laughs> right? Yeah. We could have like, I didn't miss them. With I didn't miss them. At the, yeah. at the end of the day, they I, are kind of out of place. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that is the thing. Like I, I want more of that stuff. Like what do? How do the animals interact? What do the cops think? What do their neighbors think? What does that little small boy like? What does he do that next day when he goes back to school and it's like, guys, 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 you'll never guess what happened to me, right? Like, I, yeah. I, I want more of that stuff, and I liked. I, I liked those skits with the cat because, because it gives yeah. this extra layer of like, oh, the cat has his own adventures and stuff like that. There's the one where he's <laughs> trying to poop in the neighbor's yard. Yes. That is like, <laughs> you can't like, do that. Do doing? what? I got like, I got to poop. Like, well, I'm going to I'm going to do it. No, not right here. Not not here. <laughs> Somewhere else. Yeah, I'll get blamed for that. I'm gonna drag a, you inside and you poop in my litter box. That's not a problem. It's a wonderful I like the skit. cat shorts. But I, yeah, I was kind of perplexed that they came. I was perplexed that they came at the end of the first two episodes. Like I feel like they would put yeah. them later. Like we've spent all this time just seeing the cat be around their apartment. Like the cat's not really prevalent in any of the plots. They just happen to have a cat as another part of their oh. domestic life. And then at the end, they're like, this is how the cat lives. I thought it was weird that the cat Do is like an all cat short is like the sixth short that we get to see. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it, they may have worked better if we didn't get them until like four or five. Uh, and yeah, they were in well, the like. That's that's why it was weird to me, because I, I watched it in two separate sessions. I watched like the first half couple episodes a while, like around when it came out. And then I finished it yesterday so it's been i'm so far removed from when i watched the cat skits that because i'm so far removed i didn't find myself missing them because i hadn't seen them because they're not in the latter half yeah. at all. they're only in the beginning so, yeah yeah maybe they would have maybe they would have worked better near the end the only other thing is because there's no like plot which i i do enjoy that there's no real plot i do feel like the show ends on just kind of like a random just like oh okay yeah oh, <laughs> yeah it just well, stops that's that's the thing i i sense it's uh, original net animation yeah it, c it c could be that they are continuing to make more and more are coming out in japan like yeah. as these smaller skits and then netflix is just waiting till they have a the, you know the next batch of 30 uh, uh, of them and yeah, they'll release those back. in the united states yeah. So. Yeah, because it because mm -hmm. on on the uh, wiki for the manga, it still says original run present. So like, I assume they're still making it. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I would. I would. So. I would honestly like another set of skits. Like, I I would I would watch it in a heartbeat. I, I would watch it. I don't know if I need many more. Because yeah. there isn't a mm. plot, like I, I g g g get it. I get the jo yeah. jo 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 joke, right? You don't need to like keep doing it. Um, but that, yeah, that that is why I was like, give me more context. Like, expand this neighborhood, expand this world that he lives in. If they do that, you then yes, the, absolutely. You get the next um, batch that just focuses more heavily. I I do kind of wish we got an episode that focused only on on masa his his friend that would have been cool yeah like like have it where masa's now learning the way of the house husband with tatsu and then near the end you yeah. have an episode <laughs> of 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 masa near the end like just on his own right like what yeah especially when he does masa go ahead? take with him no i was gonna say like he's i don't think he has a, a spouse <laughs> like I, yeah. I like the idea of him learning all of these domestic skills for like a like a single bachelor life <laughs> yeah that or, or or like how can he take these l l l l lessons and these principles back t to the yakuza mm. to help them yeah murder someone better right <laughs> right yeah are they able to clean a crime scene better now that yes, has exactly. taught him how to clean yeah. up after a kitchen exactly. one bit of the show that 
that I like is I don't I, I don't know if you'd call her an otaku overall, but Miku has this one anime she's really into. <laughs> Or he, yeah, and she the like has it? these collectibles for it. It's called like Polycure, and it's like these yeah. cute like police girls or something. And Tatsu like knows she's into this and like wants to get her things for it, but like can't like barely knows what the thing is. I like yeah. that we've got that reverse where like he is, lives this whole world that like she's aware of, but maybe she doesn't know the details. And it's the same for her. Like, And it's not about her career. It's about one of her hobbies. All we know is that she's a designer. And I don't think we exactly know what it is she designs. But she no, loves she this one overtime, anime though. and Tatsu's. Yeah. Well, it has meetings. We don't know. But like Tatsu <laughs> yeah. knows. Well, she loves the show. She loves this figurine. He doesn't know who the character is that the figurine is <laughs> from. He's just like, don't touch the figurine. We can't drop it. It can't break. And he goes to the store to, like, buy her a box set. And then it's this guy at the, the store clerk who's, like, really intimidated by him. But when he asks for the DVD, he's like, well, it, well which season do you want? Which DVD box set do you want? It comes in all these editions. Like, the guy gets, like, a little confidence boost when he's like, oh, I know a lot about this thing and you don't. Yeah. And Tatsu goes through the whole thing to, like, bring home the box set. And she's so excited. And she's like, honey, this is so great. I do already have this one. Yeah. And then he's just like, <laughs> I, I disappointed you, boss. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do like I do like how Tatsu calls Miku boss lady. Yeah. Like, he doesn't actually call her wife or Miku. Like he sometimes calls her Miku, but never wife. He just says boss lady. And he says this like lady. he'll say like he'll say like boss man. Or, like he'll just call random people like boss. Yeah. Like, it, it's it's his like way of showing r- respect. Of, yeah. of, of mm-hmm. like, hey, I, I, you know, yeah, you're, you're I, I like someone when, that I need to help out. I like when Miku goes on the rest of Tatsu's errands with him when he gets the stamps for the, the lottery to do the, was it the big dip the last day? Yeah. And I like how it's, yeah, yeah, first prize is a trip to Hawaii. Oh, that'd be awesome. I can't remember what the second prize is that she'd really it's want. It's like a new car. And he's like, he's like, the third prize is this new vacuum. I'm going for that one. <laughs> right no it's a it's like a vacation the, to hawaii all these great prizes and tatsu's like i want the vacuum then and then it's a tv like a 4k tv which you imagine yeah, being an anime yeah. fan she might also like no he's like vacuum i want the vacuum and then instead they don't yeah. get that they get like the fifth prize which is a stuffed animal and miku's like oh that's super cute yeah. and then the guy running the contest is like you lost tatsu and he's like no yeah whenever I'm, i can make I the would. boss lady smile that's a win yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so it's so great. It's so great. I, man, it was so fun. It was so fun to watch. It just it feels it feels great. It just like being a slice of life. That's that's just what I like. I just I don't need it to be hyper serious or mm. tell a message or anything else. I just love that I can just sit and enjoy it. And it's ridiculous enough, but also just so grounded in like just daily activity and everything else that I can just I can relate to it. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. But not really. Not really to Tatsu though. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To see a very foreign, just a, a very uh, unfamiliar, unnatural character uh, doing the exact things you would do every day. Like, yeah, I'm also excited for uh, a uh, sale at the grocery yeah. store. And his <laughs> and his friends couldn't even throw him a birthday party. Tatsu had to do it all <laughs> himself. <laughs> They're trying. If if like- nothing else, please, please go watch the subbed v- 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 version oh. of the, 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 those when he sings "Happy b- yeah. b- 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 Birthday" because it's so funny. <laughs> honestly, okay. honestly, I I'm curious. I might go back and and watch it sub just to see how the sub version compares to the dub one. Mm, yeah. I liked the dub a lot. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen the sub to compare it to, but the dub voices were very funny. Yeah, they're very good. Especially like we good. like we said, especially Tatsu. Tatsu really nailed it. Mm. There you go. Uh, do you guys have one thing you would change of this? Let me ask you that. If 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 you could walk in there like the big Yakuza member you are and be like, no, we're changing this thing. Is there <laughs> something you would change? Is there something you would add? Is there something you would take away? 
Uh, I just like to learn a little bit more about Miku's professional life. Like I said, she's a designer of some kind. What does she design? Professional life. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Does she have like a lot of uh, jargon? Like, are they out shopping one day and she runs into some professional rival? (laughs) That would be interesting. Yeah. Mm. I... I would I see it may, maybe I just I just enjoyed it too much. The only thing I didn't like was it's I mean Netflix, Netflix skips it after you see it the first time, but the the opening I don't think that yeah. opening slap. Mm, okay, I better opening, opening. I don't think the opening. I don't think the opening theme slap. Come on. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I mentioned that I want just a little bit more context around things. I think. Mm. It would be really fun to see one of their neighbors and like the friend that she g- 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 gossips <laughs> with. Uh, like, I, I just want some like gossiping old ladies that like are are there. I, I think that would be a good addition mm. uh, to the show to to see all of that. Of all, I like after Tatsu does this. something ridiculous. Like after Tatsu does something ridiculous. You get this like almost mi- like minier skit of like these two ladies talking about how they saw the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that where it is this like Rashomon, like you you hear like all of the d- 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 different p- perspectives, or it, it it is this like game of telephone that it like it starts out well like I saw that he did this and then someone said well I saw he did this and it's so- something like slightly d- d- different and then just keeps changing and changing till it gets back to the Yakuza that he did this like terrible horrible thing it's like ah oh, so he hasn't retired like haha we do it like ah you know he's still in the business uh, yeah yeah so, 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 something like that I think would be fun there you time. go. Final thoughts. Loved it. L- it's, I like, it's, I, loved that, it. it was that's good. That's all yeah. I got. It, it, it's a, a great bang for your buck. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it's it's very funny. <laughs> if you can get past the sort of very odd, it, stilted indeed. animation style, like I, I think the writing and the, the dub voice acting are both very strong. Agreed. Agreed. Take that, Ignacio. <laughs> yes yeah, so go go check it out go go watch this on on netflix it is worth your time all of that stuff um melissa you and yes. i have to do an update um you're right for our 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 bingo bingo here so alan you mm-hmm. might not be totally aware he, 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 the, here the, the bingo card yeah, we 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 do bingo uh, as as we read and watch these things. Where did my bingo card go? That's what I want to find here. It yeah, is. I forget what I, I call it. Oh, here it is. Bingo, I don't even. I don't even remember what the bingo card is. So I'm curious what slots you'll be able to like fill in from this show. Yeah, so we we came up with a list of 75 like movie and comic book tropes and stuff like that and then we we picked from that list to make our bingo cards. Uh mm-hmm. so my card is a little bit different from Melissa's. Um, yeah. So we're we're trying to fill it in and get a bingo and the win- 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 winner gets a pizza. Mhm. Um so we, we, yeah, we we have a number of different things. I have one that I want to see if we can fill in here. It's maybe a little bit different than what we wrote down. Yeah, but I feel like mom in an exactly apron yes would really work for for the, the, the this one. Yes, uh, he is. Uh, uh, yeah, well, well, this he is tra- a house husband. My mom, I pretty but much he fits meant that like, trope. Right, a mom is homemaker. He is the homemaker. Yes, I, I, we can cross off True. mom yeah. in an apron. This is the strongest showing an apron has ever had, <laughs> next to Hannibal. <laughs> yeah, his signature apron. It's g- great. Because um, you get that good contrast. You got the super serious suit with the apron. Yeah. Did did we get? Oh, we we did mention there was a training montage. There 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 was the oh, guy who yes. was. Uh, 
Yes. Training his legs. Training, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put that one. one on my bingo card. Beans. Uh, Haha, I have that one. Most shows um, have printing montages. A lot of them do. Yeah, let's see. What else do I have here? Did did we get one of Miku running out with no time to eat breakfast? I don't remember. I don't I think so. I have a vague no, memory I, of that, no, but there, I could be wrong. Uh, she did leave. There was a part where she left, but I don't think she was running late. She left, and Tatsu was like, like he, he panicked, and he was like, she forgot her breakfast, so he got on the bike and chased after her. No, yeah, she uh, okay. didn't, like, um... Bring her lunch with her. Yeah. Yeah, so Tatsu had to rush it okay, rush so after her. Not no time to eat. Yeah, breakfast. what I'm thinking of with breakfast. that is the, that is one like that we in the thought movies of. where somebody's made like a full breakfast spread and somebody comes out like, no, honey, I don't have time. Give me a hot a black coffee and one toast triangle for me to have in my mouth as I run to my car. Yeah. Uh, I think that might be about it for yeah. now. That's all you grab. That's all I got. We I, have many I weeks do ahead have of us. It's only June. I have. I I I have one row that I'm missing two squares, and I have one row that I'm missing one. So I'm very close to bingo. I will mm. say that right now. Uh, I, I the only thing I need to get a bingo is the sound of cicadas. Ah! I, I, I need the what? sound of cicadas. So yeah, <laughs> we need to watch that another so anime. Specific. It's like, in, it's you, for anime. It's in like he shows every up all anime, the time in anime, except for this one uh, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't in it this wasn't one. The cicada year. Yeah, it wasn't in. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. I, I brought you an anime and I couldn't get you a bingo. I'm sorry. I also need death by electric death by electric Kyushin and a locked room mystery or episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll get both. I'm really hoping for a yeah, if yeah. I'm here and you're here, then who's driving the bus moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay okay that is our update for bingo mm -hmm. we're getting c close I, I i i think this has been a good exper experiment it's fun on uh what we can do with our bingo here so okay uh let's see now that we've done that we gotta do recommendations so mm -hmm. Alan, I might start with you. Do you have something yeah. that if people enjoyed this, what else might you recommend them to go read or watch or play or do yeah. something? So the slide. OK, so this this is I'm going to take a little bit of a stretch here and I'm, I'm going to tie this That's into fine. another to my, my favorite, my favorite anime and franchise. If you enjoy that kind of like relaxing, like not it's not as funny as this and it's longer. If you enjoy that slice of life aspect. I would actually recommend you read or even watch the part four anime or the part four manga of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Diamond is Unbreakable. Mm -hmm. um, Araki, it's not completely just funny and silly. It does have like an overarching plot in the latter half of that of that anime. But it definitely does have that slice of life feel where things aren't really super serious yet. And there's no like, oh, big bad guy. It's just kind of. We're meeting people, we're exploring the town that we live in, and we're getting into these wacky hijinks with people that are friends or enemies that turn into friends. And cool. if you continue with it, um, it does turn into a really interesting murder mystery. Oh. Mm. I so like the you sound get of murder that. mystery and slice of life aspect. JoJo's part four, Diamond is Unbreakable. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Melissa, do you have any recommendations? Yeah, the concept of trying to live, just trying to have an apartment and go shopping and cook food while there's some other possibly nefarious things going on in the background. And that's the context you come from when you're trying to solve everyday problems. That reminded me of The Devil is a Part-Timer, which is another anime we watched about uh -huh. a devil that yeah. comes from another dimension to modern day Japan and he has to and he's stuck there and he has to figure out how to live so he gets a job at a, a McDonald's. A <laughs> McDonald's. And it's about him 
McDonald's. Yeah, a beautiful fake McDonald's. I <laughs> love a fake McDonald's. Turn Suppo- it upside supposedly, down. Supposedly, supposedly, sometime this year or uh, in the future, uh, that anime season. is going to get a season two. Season two, yeah. It took forever. But Good. Wow. It took yeah. literally After a long forever. time. Took forever. And uh, another anime that I would recommend, this has been one of my favorite animes we've watched on the show, even though, Kyle, I know you weren't as fond of it. Uh, Watakoi, Love is Hard for Otaku. You know, I treasure my animes about adults. I, uh-huh. <laughs> I get burned out on like teen high school stories pretty quickly. They're good. They're important. I like some of them, but I feel like it's like all teens all the time. And I just want to see adults in an office every once in a while. And that's what that show is. It's about a woman who's an otaku. She's this huge nerd about these things that she likes And it's like ruined every relationship she's tried to get into where the guy's like, I can't handle how deep you are into boys love manga. (laughs) (laughs) And so she starts at a new office and she's like, I'm going to keep it secret this time. I'm not going to let anybody know what a huge nerd I am. But she gets there and one of her her like old middle school friend is there and she's like, he knows everything I'm into. Oh, no, he's going to tell everybody he's going to blow my secret. I'm never going to get a boyfriend here. And he's like, well, well, if we're both, you know, he, he like, he's like a huge gamer. And he's like, if we're both these sort of oddball dorks, why don't we just try dating each other? And we see how that goes. If we already yeah. understand each other. Yeah. So it's them. And there's uh, some of their bosses in this office are also you know, like he's uh, I forget what his deal is. I think he's also like really deep into manga or something. And uh, the woman's a cosplayer this really well-known, like really extravagant cosplayer and like they have a relationship and they're really successful. So yeah, it's just about a mature adult relationships uh, where, where you're a big nerd about something. Yeah. <laughs> and you like learn to recognize and support that in each other. There you go. Good uh... stuff. Uh, so we mentioned the Yakuza video games. Go play those. That would be a recommended editation. But... I have two anime that I want to recommend. Uh, One that is maybe a little more akin to this. It is like a slice of life uh, that Mm -hmm. generally focuses not I, I, I don't know if I would call them skits per se, but they are scenes of like, here is mm-hmm. this one thing that is happening. And then there's like three or four of them in one episode. Go watch Nichi Jiao. Nichi Jiao is one of the funniest animes I have ever seen in my life. Like, it is one of the funniest things I have seen, period. It is so good. And it's this little slice of life story. But they just get into these really, really absurd things um there is one ca- character who's really into drawing hentai and she's on her way to go get her portfolio reviewed uh and on her way there she gets stopped by the cops and she uh, it's it's just like a routine thing like hey there's been like a rise in crime in this thing we just want to make sure you're okay you know and she thinks that they're stopping her for all the porn that she has in her <laughs> book bag and stuff so when she starts acting suspicious and they're like hey you're acting suspicious can we search your b- 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 bag she's just like uh, uh, no uh, uh, no so it's like, it's please don't yeah it's it's absurd stuff like that and she starts like f- hiding them and wrestling them and and body slamming them and stuff it's great it's wonderful please go watch that Um, And then the second one is also more of a slice of life. It's definitely a comedy. um, And it is, I think, maybe one of my favorite animes, period. It's Shin-chan. Crayon Shin-chan. It is about this young kid. He's, I don't know, maybe like five at the most. The art style is more of what you would imagine like a young child a young child drawing um but it is crude it he is he makes dick jokes and fart jokes and all sorts of stuff and it is one of the funniest things 
<laughs> ever. Um, so please go watch that as as I re- well. I remember I remember Shin Chan from like Adult Swim like a, a long time ago, right? Shin Chan is great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So go go check that stuff out. That's what I would recommend. Nice. Nice. There you go. Indeed. All right. Uh, Melissa, it is your turn to do the pitches for this next week. It is. I was sort of unprepared because I forgot whose turn it was. (laughs) But uh, I I managed to pull together kind of a a sci-fi grab bag. Variety of things. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Pitch number one. This is a movie I've been curious about for a while. It is Sunshine. This is a 2007 sci-fi film directed by Danny Boyle, written by Alex Garland. This is about Ah, a team of international astronauts are sent on a dangerous mission to reignite the dying sun with a nuclear fission bomb in 2057. (laughs) And I knew that this movie had uh, Chris Evans post Johnny Storm pre Steve Rogers. But I looked it up on IMDb. We got Chris Evans. We got Rose Byrne, Cillian Murphy, who I love. Ooh, Michelle Yeoh, Hiroyuki Sonata, Benedict Wong, Mark Strong. Really interesting cast that this movie Benedict has. Benedict Wong is great. I've heard that this is. Yeah, I've heard that this is good, but I, I've never heard very much about it. It just seems like an interesting sci fi premise. Like, we're going to send this Alex- interesting group up there to kick the sun back into gear, make the sun sunnier. <laughs> Yeah, Alex Garland seems to do those like really hard but niche sci-fi yes, things. Yes, yes. That I like a lot. So that's that's a good one. Cool. Mm-hmm. Pitch number two is another movie uh, that's sort of been in my back pocket for a while trying to find a place where I could pitch it. I, I gave up on trying to develop themes. Like I said, it's a sci-fi grab bag. Uh, And this is not a sci-fi story in itself, but it's a story about a sci-fi story. This is the movie Fanboys. It's from 2009. Director's name is Kyle Newman. Star Wars, it's set in 1999. Okay. Star Wars fanatics take a cross-country trip to George Lucas's Skywalker Ranch so their dying friend can see a screening of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace before its release. Interesting. OK. And it's, it's not like yeah, a, like and a I, documentary thing. No, not, no. This like is a, a fictional story. Interesting. OK. I don't think it's based on true events. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, these friends, like you said, they, one of their friends is dying. They're like, we don't know if he's going to live to see the theatrical release of The Phantom Menace. And I think they try to break into Skywalker Ranch. They try and infiltrate (laughs) it because they're like, a print of the movie has to be there. We have to get it so we can see it. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I don't, I've never heard much about this movie. I don't know how good it is, but I I think that premise is interesting. Sounds good to me. And then pitch number three. This is something I just learned about like two hours ago when I was like, I need some more sci-fi stuff. And I'm just scrolling through Hulu I scrolled through everything, but I found this on Hulu. It is a Hulu original show. It's six episodes long. It's called Dimension 404. I don't know when it's from. I think it's from the last handful of years. In the darkest depths of cyberspace, there is another world, a lost dimension, home to wonders unseen, terrors unspeakable, and stories unlike any ever told. Dimension 404 is a science fiction anthology that explores the wonders and terrors of our digital age. From outrageous horror comedy to mind-bending action adventure, each episode tells a weird and wild sci-fi tale where the twist ending is just the beginning. There's some really interesting episode premises. Uh, I'm going to read you a couple. A hopelessly nostalgic physics student fights to prove her sanity and goes on an adventure through space and time when no one on earth can remember her favorite 90s cartoon show. <laughs> so it seems like we've got a Mandela effect episode where she's like, we'll just jump t- to another dimension where I, I assure you the show is real. There's an episode about Polybius. Oh, nice. My fave. Polybius going to be timely since it is a, at least a brief appearance in Loki coming out next week. 
there's an episode about an up and coming pro first person shooter gamer finds the edge she needs in an energy drink. Every moment she spends in slow motion, her life fast forwards tenfold. Oh. So like, in, dude, I, I like a spy anthology that's like, we're going to get weird. We're going to get funny. I, I Yeah, it's not, it seems uh, yeah. like fun. Yeah, and these it all seem like, like they're... It fits in with the like Twilight Zone and Black Mirror stuff, but this is like, hey, let's let's do like let's make sure there's some lighter stuff in there too, because yeah. Black Mirror especially is just like everything sucks. <laughs> right? Yeah, this seems a lot lighter. Seems maybe like it's closer to Hadron Gospel Hour, the podcast okay, we listen cool. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So interesting. Your selections this week are Sunshine, Fanboys, or Dimension 404. Interesting stuff. Alan, if you had to pick, what 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 would you pick? See, I'm not the biggest I'm not the biggest sci-fi fan. Like it's so like I I'm not like super big into Star Wars as like a fan, so like I I got to rule that one out. But I, I, I like some of the crazy episode premises. I If I had to watch one of them, and since it's only like, I think it's six episodes, I'd probably give the yeah. 404 a shot. Mm. Interesting. Because I, okay. I really want I really want to know about this girl that when she's in slow-mo, her life goes faster. But like, I want to know how that works. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm kind of interested in the same thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. I the 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 anthology thing sounds interesting like there's a good like like you said a sci-fi grab bag and this is actually yeah. a sci-fi grab bag um but yeah I I, I want to see what Hulu does with that like sci-fi anthology uh thing there because I don't think I've heard of this show so the fact that it's out there and it just like hasn't like I've never heard of this is like huh oh it's from interesting from 2017 uh created wow. by freddie wong matthew arnold and desmond dolly freddie wong yeah i know isn't he, uh, i think he worked on video isn't game high YouTuber? school yeah isn't he a youtube a youtuber yeah yeah i believe freddie wong is a youtuber interesting okay well there you go that's that's what i think we should do this next week dimension yeah. 404 the six episode anthology on hulu that's yeah. what we will do. Uh, yeah, there you go. Alan Busby, thank yes. you for joining us on this one. This was a, gr- a great one. Sometimes you just need a feel good show. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Sometimes you do. Indeed. Uh, where can the people find you on the Internet? What are you usually up to? Uh, since we like referencing all kinds of other shows for the people that listen to them, you can just find me, you can find me at Twitter at Alan Busby. So, uh, just keep bringing it coming. Keep bringing it coming. Keep bringing it coming. Indeed. (laughs) There you go. Uh, and Melissa, where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at WilkyWit. That's W-I-L-K-Y-W-I-T. And listen to my other podcast, Saturday Morning Obscurities, where me and my brother Jams talk about a weird old kids show you feel like only you remember. There you go. Uh, If you guys want to stay up to date with me, I'm at Yo Kyle Springer on Twitter. And if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the shows that we do here at the Whatnots, including Crossplay, where you can typically find Alan. Um, we are at the whatnots on Twitter. So go like, share, subscribe, do all of that stuff. (laughs) Um, with that though, I think that will wrap us up for this week and we will see you all next time for dimension 404. Thanks guys. Bye. It's it's, it's not found. It's not found. We'll find it next week. There you go. Indeed. (laughs) 